It's quarter past six. Good to have you with us here on the South African Morning. A very important Friday as we talk vaccines and also tourism throughout the morning. Gauteng Premier David Mukura and Health MEC Norma Temba Mukheti are visiting a pop-up vaccination site in Sedebeng. Well, good thing we're there as well. Gauteng is working on ensuring that vaccination programs are as accessible to the public. In fact, so much so, they need to be within five kilometers of their homes. The GCIS and Solidarity Fund publishing the latest numbers on the research on vaccine willingness. It's come out and said 62% of the country's population is willing to get vaccinated. It's nearly two out of every three people. So let's head over now back to Fundabel Park, where we find uh, my partner here on the South African morning. It's Tumelo Montetuane, who's going to be watching that for us this morning. And uh, to me, morning to you, and just a couple of meters behind you, the gate of what you were telling me is going to be opened to allow for drive-through vaccinations. That's such a clever idea, and people seem to love it, don't they? Absolutely, absolutely, Gareth. What you are looking at is a vaccination site, a pop-up vaccination site, because uh, Premier David Makura, as well as the Gauteng provincial government, has been worried about the low uptake of uh, people coming in this region to get vaccinated. So what you're seeing behind me is what will be the drive-through, and what is in front of me will actually be the walk-through into this uh, VUT's Isaac Stale Stadium. Now, this is the stadium that we're talking about, Gareth, and everyone will be walking through that entrance. You can see definitely uh, it's been cordoned off, a lot of branding there just to show people where to go when they do get their vaccines. And, but also, at the same time, you do know there's that 15-minute uh, window period with which healthcare workers will need to have people seated uh, just after receiving their jab so that they can monitor them uh, in terms of how they react, of course, to the vaccine and make sure that everything is well and done. But, of course, to get more information about why we're here, why this is important, I'm now joined by Mr. Natasijaki from the Sidibeng District Health Services. This is quite an important one, Gareth, also equally because the Premier, David Makura, will be, of course, coming in uh, to this pop-up site, including the MEC of Health, uh, Manoma Temba Mukheti, who will equally be doing door-to-door -door sites just to ensure that anyone over the age of 18 and is eligible to get a vaccine can get information but equally do so. So without any further ado, Mr. Nate, Sajaka, thank you for your time and welcome to the South African Morning. Thank you very much for inviting me and good morning. Yeah. Were there growing concerns about the number of people in your region uh, getting vaccinated? Is this part of the reason why we are here today at uh, the uh, Van der Beel Park, but particularly at the Isaac Sale Stadium to ensure that not only do people come to get vaccinated, but you also take the vaccine to the people? Yes, thank you very much. What we noted in our district is that there was a whole lot of vaccine hesitancy. You know, people listen to the myths that they hear on social media. You know, also whether it's mouth to mouth or wherever they get them, you know. And uh, I won't talk about the myths because it will be like I'm spreading them, but what we are trying to do is to say, okay, we try to have many different vaccination sites everywhere, medical and non-medical sites, you know. So, the, you know, the initial reason why we had the non-medical sites mm. was to ensure that people don't come to our facilities and then be overcrowded there and then those become super spreader events. But then we also noticed that despite having the non-medical sites, people were still not coming as expected. Mm. You know, we, we would like to vaccinate at least 70% of the eligible population, you know, the adult population, 18 years and above. And, uh, of course, we started with the elderly, but then, you know, being the most vulnerable. But then we noticed that, you know, people are still not coming as expected. Right. So we decided that, no, rather, let us take the vaccine to the people now, even closer to them than even before. So hence, we decided on the pop-up sites and also the drive-throughs so that people can just not get out of their cars, just get jabbed there yeah. and then go. 
And, and also speaking about, you know, just the distance, I know that the pop-up sites are equally important so that they are more or less five kilometer radius uh, from people's residencies and it, it makes it easier to access uh, these pop-up sites. That's true. But Ms. Nate, I also wanted to ask, what I find particularly interesting about this particular uh, pop-up site is that it's at a university mm -hmm. uh, stadium, the Val University of Technology, and we know that the over 18s are also expected to get uh, vaccinated. Yes. Uh, where are you right now with the youth community and vaccines and, and them getting vaccinated in your region? Um, like countrywide, we started last week with the youth, but this pop-up site here in particular started yesterday and it will be for three days. Uh, that was the 9th, today is the 10th and it will be up to tomorrow as well, the 11th. So yesterday we did just here, it was 240 that we did and uh, others of course were in the drive through and then others were walk-ins. So we know that in the universities, yes, the above 18s are definitely there, you know, and um, we just hope that they will come. You know, the challenge that we have as well is that currently there is um, distance learning. Right. Yeah, because of COVID. So we are aware that many of them are at their homes and, you know, we might not get the numbers that we expect, but we are hoping that those that are here will come but what we are also doing is to invite the local community around here i think you are well aware that okay mm. fine this mm. is an industrial area but right. around it's a whole lot of residential areas so we are hoping that those people will also have access to the stadium and those that are working will then be able to come even tomorrow right yes let's then talk about what happens when people come here there, there are two ways you can get to the pop-up site either by driving through mm -hmm. or by walking yes. in but either way you will be assisted as soon as you walk into the stadium do you need to be registered uh, on the evds system to do so are there ways in which you can assist those who may not have access to a smartphone access to the internet uh, to ensure that they get registered online how does the system work today as soon as i walk through or drive through and make my way through that door what then happens? Okay. Number one, you either expected to come already registered. Otherwise, if you are not registered, there will be people that will assist you. You know, there will be somebody over there for the drive through and mm. then somebody here as soon as they set up here. Yeah. For those that will be walking in through the gate. So they will register you electronically on EVDS. Otherwise, if you're already registered, they just verify your verification and then you go through. This is very important to Melo because uh, it's, it's a record that you will have and which can give you access to any part of the world if it is required. Right. So it is important that people have it on their phones, but they also print those messages so that in, 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 should the phone get lost and they are required somewhere, then they have a record to produce that shows that they are uh, actually vaccinated for COVID. Yeah. yeah. You mentioned at the beginning of our, our conversation about, you know, vaccine hesitancy within the community, mm. uh, some of the myths uh, around fake news, around, you know, not only the pandemic, the virus, but also the vaccines. Mm. What's your call to action this morning? Because if you didn't come yesterday, you still have an opportunity today and again tomorrow, according to my understanding, uh, to visit this site to get vaccinated. For those who are at home watching our conversation right now, five kilometer radius away uh, from their residency or from their homes. What's your message this morning, Mr. Jack? Okay, my message today would be that, look, you've seen your friends, you've seen your family members that were vaccinated yesterday. They are alive and well, and this is going to benefit them. So please do come. There are three reasons why we want people to be vaccinated. We want to have herd community which means we want to have the maximum numbers, you know, like more than 70% of our population vaccinated so that the virus is unable to spread. So in other words, we will be suffocating the virus and it will be unable to spread amongst our people. That's number one. Mm. Number two, we, we, you know, if you are vaccinated and you happen to be infected, which is not so easy anyway, your symptoms will not be as severe as if you were never vaccinated. Right. Number three, vaccines 
prevent death. This vaccine in particular prevents death. We know that so many people are dying out there of, of um, COVID-19. Right. And every day we bury people here. There's a burial site not far from here, just up to uh, mm. uh, at the traffic light there. There's a burial site. It's mm. almost full because there are burials there every day. So we, we you know, it's like people want to go to funerals, but yeah. they don't want to get vaccinated. So to prevent premature death, please let us go. And also to just have COVID is very uncomfortable. I right. mean, I had it. It was very uncomfortable. I was afraid to fall asleep sure. because I thought if I sleep, I'm going to sleep forever. Oh, no. You know, so and I don't want anybody to, to go through that. Yeah, and we're happy to, to, to see you and to hear from you because this is a testimony. Yes. Uh, that indeed, you know, the drive for vaccination couldn't be much more important than it is today. That's Mr. true. Mr. Jackie, thank you so much for joining us this morning right here on the South African Morning. Well, there you have You're it, uh, Gareth. We're just speaking to a rep from the uh, Sidibeng uh, District Health Services, Mesina Disejake, expressing and elaborating on the importance of coming up and making use of this opportunity to get vaccinated at this uh, pop-up site. We are at the Val University of Technology, mm. and this is where not only herself, but also the Premier, David Makura, will be, of course, coming through at the MEC of Health, Nomatemba uh, Mukheti, and including those door-to-doors, which are important for this region to raise awareness around vaccines, but also to try and get anyone over the age of 18 and eligible to get vaccinated to do so. So, of course, that's more that uh, we're still going to be bringing for you right here on site. But it's back to you, studio. Oh, what a wonderful show ahead for us as we get David Makura there, Tooms, as you mentioned, 8.30 uh, this morning to where you are uh, at uh, the Vol University of Technology as well. All right, we're back to Tumelo a little bit later. Also, just coming up for you in a moment, we'll also be speaking to our reporter, Slindelo Masikane, looking at tourism numbers as well outside Zakumzi Restaurant, well-known restaurant here in Gauteng. That's coming up for you in a little while from now.